workhorse, along with everybody else, it's been the only sure thing, the only constant in your portfolio of variables. You're expecting it to fly, but instead, it flops. So, is it time to dump workhorse? Hold your horses, cowboy. In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly why your workhorse dropped and whether it's time to say goodbye or bye bye bye. And we're going to be starting right now. Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your wealth through investing and trading stocks in the market, make sure you start right now by subscribing and tapping that bell so you never miss a thing. I'll see you in the video. Let's go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Workhorse. Workhorse trades under ticker symbol WKHS. So, listen, y'all. I know that some of you are just a little bit butthurt right now, and that's why I'm here to console you. It's perfectly okay to feel like this, and what's funny is that every time a stock has a little pullback, you can go visit some message boards and you can bet your bottom dollar that you'll find people that are freaking out. They don't understand. They're like, I thought this was a good stock. <laughs> well, at least that's what they say. And my response to them, if a good stock is one that just goes up in a straight line and never has a bad day, then I've ne I've never actually owned a good stock but maybe one day i will all right so let's get back on topic we were talking about workhorse so as i am sure that at least some of you are aware workhorse reported earnings yesterday as expected and as i previously warned you in my recent videos regarding the latest workhorse usps ngdv contract Workhorse earnings weren't that great, but we knew this would be the case. So Workhorse closed down at about 7.6% yesterday, but gained back 2% after hours, which means that overall we gave up about 5.6%. And the shares are currently trading at $15.57, or that's $15.57 at the time of this recording. So Workhorse reported worse than expected second quarter earnings, or I'm sorry, sales results. And they also reported quarterly sales of $91,940, missing the analyst consensus estimate of $270,000. They reported a loss of $1.76 per share, from the nearly $92,000 in sales. With sales under 100,000, this was officially a top and bottom miss. We also saw that their expenses were increased, which is mainly due to accounting factors tied to stock gains, as the stock gained 860% in the second quarter. So even though they missed earnings, let's not forget that Workhorse has also received safety approvals for their electric vehicles, which can now be sold in all 50 states. They also reported receiving new orders and delivered their first vans to Ryder. And management has also advised that they still expect to meet their targets and produce 300 to 400 vans by the end of the year. Another thing to mention is that several analysts are bullish on the company and expect them to be awarded with that uh, you know USPS contract so they reported bad earnings so now what does this disqualify them from being eligible to receive the USPS next generation delivery vehicle contract of course not so then tell me what exactly has changed well allow me to answer that for you the share price 
the share price has changed and is now more attractive. At least to me it is. So this could be a good opportunity to buy. If it dips down even more, then I would buy even more. With that being said, this is not a recommendation to buy. I am not a financial advisor, but I am a guy that creates and uploads videos to YouTube, which by some people's standards makes me an extremely credible source. I think that I should probably have the, th the talk with you guys right now. And when I say the talk, I mean, you know, the talk. All right. So even though I'm sure this will make both of us uncomfortable or all of us uncomfortable, let me just ask this question. What happens if Workhorse does not get a portion of this USPS contract? Is this USPS contract the only reason that Workhorse is so popular? If I have to answer this honestly, I'm going to have to say that uh, Workhorse in the short term really needs that contract in order to thrive and establish themselves as a major player in this industry. Now, if they do land this contract, they will be golden. They will have the first mover advantage, a huge order to fill, and lots of money to support them in doing so. But, worst case scenario, let's say there is no contract. They still have money that will be coming in in the future. And that's from their stake with Lordstown. But, you have to consider that Workhorse burns a lot of cash every quarter in order to generate their revenue. Now, I'm not sure that Lordstown, that the Lordstown money will be enough on its own, but they probably can still make it by doing things that shareholders won't like in the short term. Their patents and involvement with drones is very interesting. And I say this because this is a sector that is going to absolutely explode in the next few years. So in conclusion, whether you buy this dip and how many shares you do buy should be contingent upon your risk tolerance and whether or not you believe Workhorse will get a substantial portion of this contract. And last but not least, whether you are investing long or short term. In other words, how long are you willing to hold if something were to go wrong? You will have to answer that for yourself. Now, I almost forgot, almost forgot to mention that if push does come to shove for Workhorse, they can always call up UAVS or Ag Eagle and see if they can get Amazon to partner with the both of them. Now, that would be awesome. And I hope you guys can tell that I'm just joking. But anyhow, let me tell you guys, today is my birthday, okay? So, if you could, for my birthday, please let me get some birthday likes on this video and some birthday subscriptions if you're not subscribed because I do put out quality content with a lot of information every single day. So, do me a favor, smash that like button and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed tell me happy birthday or I guess I can just uh, tell myself happy birthday but it would be nice if you guys commented happy birthday in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys very very soon in the next video.